Let me guess, you are planning to visit the charming seaside town of Margate. Well, you're in the right place. I'm one of those pesky Londoner types who loves Margate for its Shoreditch by Sea energy. Margate is in the southeast county of Kent along its lovely coastline. Since it's only an hour or two away from London, you can escape the city's bustle and be basking in Margate's salty breeze in no time. Margate has amazing food and coffee, creative community vibes, a diverse crowd, and best of all, it's by the sea. Grab your film camera, don your hipster holiday garments, and let's dive into the best things to do in Margate. First up, get ready for a picture-perfect moment with this seaside architectural gem and Margate icon Lido. Dating back to the 1920s, this Margate icon has been beautifully restored to its former glory and I'd recommend rocking some vintage seaside attire so you can channel a bit of Wes Anderson energy for your next profile photo. Another cool thing to do in Margate is to immerse yourself in modern art at the Turner Contemporary Gallery. The beautifully designed Turner Contemporary Gallery is a modern gallery that overlooks Margate's roaring waves. Made of glass and concrete, the sloping two-floor gallery is home to a revolving door of incredible exhibitions, installations, and a gorgeously curated gift shop full of locally made prints, cards, art books. Turner Contemporary is also a tribute to the great British painter JMW Turner, who was absolutely captivated by Margate's stunning seascapes. There is a blue plaque dedicated to Turner in one of the buildings in the Old Town. Another cool thing to do is take a cheeky stroll through the historic winding alleyways of Margate's Old Town. You can take in the blue historical plaques of famous people gone by, look at life spilling out of the little boutiques and cafes along the way, and bring your sense of curiosity as you take in the cute little sights. Another cool thing to do in Margate is to go and get your shopping fix at Margate's independent boutiques, bookstores, galleries, and vintage shops. There are so many hidden gems in Margate, from retro clothing boutiques to quirky antiques and home decor shops, and there are top tier contemporary design products dotted all around Margate's boutiques. I really loved a new little Japanese inspired concept store. There's also the iconic Margate bookshop where you can pick up your next read and there's more than a few trendy fashion shops. Another cool thing to do in Margate which quite a few people miss out when they visit is to discover the mysterious Margate Caves and Shell Grotto. It's pretty strange and kooky down there with colourful animals painted on the walls from literally hundreds of years ago. Around the corner in Cliftonville, go and visit Margate Shell Grotto as well. It's a mysterious underground passageway adorned with intricate patterns made entirely of seashells. Its origins and purpose remain unknown to this day, but love a mystery, don't we? What would this guide be if I didn't recommend going to watch waves and enjoy life at Margate Beach? Even though it does get pretty windy in Margate, Margate actually has a very soft, sandy, golden beach that's perfect for chilling on in the late spring and summer. Remember your sunscreen, your beach towel, and a good book for a relaxing day under the sun. There are also concrete steps coming down from the boardwalk where loads of people will just grab an ice cream or kick back and have a drink with friends and just watch the world go by across the water. From the beach, you can enjoy the brutalist architecture of dreamland and the buildings around it. And afterwards, treat yourself to something from one of the cute little seaside knickknack shops dotted along the harbour as well. You can't go to the British seaside without having some fish and chips. I love the contemporary take on fish and chips that the restaurant Boy and Oyster serve up. Boy and Oyster are a family-run seafood restaurant, beautiful views overlooking the ocean, and they do fresh, fresh seafood from classic oysters, dressed crab and lobster to seafood platters and more. If you fancy a more rugged beachside fish and chips experience, check out their sister restaurant downstairs called Beach Boys, a hot pink contemporary Marg's take on the classic chippy. Another thing I'd recommend doing is savouring the best of Margate's culinary scene. There are some incredible restaurants. Recommendations include Sargasso Restaurant, serving up some of the best modern British small plates I've had in a fabulous seaside setting right on Margate's Harbour Arm. They have a wicked cocktail and wine list as well. Another incredible eatery in Margate is Bottega Caruso. This charming Michelin recommended Italian restaurant is well known for its authentic flavours and warm atmosphere. The food here is so delicious. Everything is handmade and absolutely bursting with flavour. And the desserts are amazing too. I definitely recommend booking the advance because it gets hella busy. Following on the foodie vibes, go and get brunchy with coffee and breakfast by the sea. There are so many honourable mansions for the best brunch in Margate. My top pick would be Fort's Cafe in Cliftonville. From amazing coffee to next level French toast with rhubarb and pistachio and cream to kimchi bacon sourdough toasties, Fort's is the 
spot for a Wicked brunch. They don't take bookings, so rock up early or prepare to queue, but it is very worth the wait. How could I put this Margate guide together without Dreamland? Dreamland is a vintage amusement park that's been a staple of Margate culture since the 1920s. It's home to the oldest roller coaster ride in the UK, and Dreamland is genuinely a must visit. It's the epitome of seaside fun. Not only does it have rides, a roller rink, food vendors, and bars, but it's also home to amazing concerts, gigs, and festivals every summer. Next, I recommend having a bougie seaweed massage at Heckles Spa. Heckles is an award-winning sustainable skincare and spa boutique born right here in Margate. Their entire product range was born out of the surplus of seaweed that washed up on Margate's shores. Right opposite the Lido, they offer gorgeous, sustainable marine-based products from seaweed hand wash to their wonderful thalassotherapy spa upstairs with wonderful views of the sea. I had an hour-long deep tissue massage here and was absolutely glorious. This one is is a bit of a rogue pick, but it is pretty cool. I recommend scuttling over to Margate's Crab Museum to learn some fun facts about our crab friends. Not only is the Crab Museum 100% free, but it's 100% hilarious, and anyone with a sense of humour should definitely spend half an hour here. If you didn't know that human vaccines are actually tested on crabs, then you need to get to the museum and learn more. If crabs aren't your thing, go check out Margate Museum as well and dive into Margate's past, carrying on the walking theme. Go for a lovely sunset stroll along Margate's Harbour Arm. You could admire the town seafront at low tide. As the sun goes down, beautiful golden hour cast over the low waters and sand. I'm sure that the horizon and the waves would look much the same as when JMW Turner himself painted those iconic waves way back when. Remember to bring a coat or a light jacket because the winds get very strong when the sun goes down. Enjoy the waves crashing, taking the views. And when you're ready, you can go grab a drink at one of the bars along the harbor arm as the sun goes down. Margate is such a soul little seaside gem. Whatever your vibe is, Margate's got something to offer. If you want some recommendations on where to stay when you're in Margate, check out the link in the description. If this was useful, like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.